2022 Kia Sportage detailed, Australian launch due October-November 2021, update. Full details of Kia's new family SUV have been confirmed, with twin 12-inch screens, more space and upgraded safety high on the agenda. The 2022 Kia Sportage has been revealed in full, ahead of its Australian launch this October or November. Following the release of initial exterior and interior images last month, Kia has released full details of the latest generation of its critical mid-size Sportage family SUV and twin under the skin to the new Hyundai Tucson, which brings an overhauled design, high-tech cabin, and new safety technology. As reported, the new Sportage adopts a far less conservative look, that of its predecessor, led by a bold front end with a full-width Tiger nose grille, boomerang-shaped daytime running lights, and available Matrix-led headlights. Razor-led taillights and Kia's new logo feature at the rear, while a black contrast roof can be optioned for the first time. Wheel sizes ranging from 17 to 19 inches in diameter are on offer. Inside, a curved black panel stretches across much of the dashboard, combining a 12-inch infotainment touchscreen with over-the-air updates and 12-inch digital instrument cluster into one unit. Below the screens sit a new ergonomic center console with a shift by wire gear selector, plus wireless phone charging, multi-zone climate control, with touch controls, and buttons for the heated and ventilated front seats. A Harman Kardon premium sound system is also available. Buyers can opt for the off-road themed X-Line model, which adds rugged exterior bumpers, side skirts and a roof rack, plus sage green interior trim accents and black metal wood inlays. Also available is the GT line, which adds standout body colors and a black-white leather trimmed interior. The new Kia Sportage measures in at 4,660 mm long, 1,865 mm wide and 1,660 mm high, riding on a 2,755 mm wheelbase 175 mm longer overall, 10 mm wider 15 mm taller and 85 mm longer in wheelbase than the outgoing model sold in Australia. Two different wheelbase options will be offered globally, with the shorter length bound for Europe and the longer of the pair slated for the US, China and likely Australia. The 2,755mm wheelbase detailed above, shared with Australia's Hyundai Tucson, indicate the aforementioned dimensions apply to Australia-bound Sportage models. Kia claims second-row passengers benefit from 1,050mm of legroom and 1,000mm of headroom. Boot space is rated at 637 liters, DA, a substantial increase over the current Sportage's 466 liters, with the rear seats able to be folded flat with the press of a button. The engine lineup at launch will be headlined by a 1.6-liter turbocharged petrol four-cylinder shared with the Tucson, sending 132 kilowatts and 265 Nm to the road through a choice of six-speed manual or seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmissions, though the auto will likely be standard in Australia. Diesel buyers are served by a new 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, developing 137 kilowatts and 417 Nm, and paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission, featuring a new torque converter for improved fuel efficiency and shift response. Kia doesn't state whether the engines are paired to front or all-wheel drive, though using the related Tucson as a guide, expect turbo examples bound for Australia to employ all-wheel drive traction as standard. 
hybrid and plug-in hybrid FEV, options will also be available overseas, expected to mirror the Tucson's 169 kilowatts and 195 kilowatts 350 Nm, respectively. Australian launches for these have yet to be confirmed, however, with Kia Australia indicating it's keen on the hybrid, but there are no immediate plans to import the FEV locally. They'll be joined by other petrol and diesel variants, including a less powerful 115 kW 192 Nm 2.0 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine to serve an entry-level front-wheel drive models down under.